Hi YouTube. We're going to finish this project up here with the grouting. Uh, a couple things to go over before we get started. This is a grout float. You can get different kinds. This one has foam on it. Okay, and it's, it's a little bit pliable. You don't want to use that for mortar because you'll chew it up. But it is designed for grout. Uh, there's two different types of growth that you can get. There's sand it and unsand it. Um, the sand it sounds just like it's. It is just what it, like it sounds like. Uh, it has sand in it. So when you're done grouting, you'll have that texture. The unsanded grout doesn't have it in it, and when you're done uh, grouting, it's smooth. Uh, when you when you are grouting, you don't want to go perpendicular to your lines. What you want to do is you want to come down on an angle. Okay, either direction you want to go on an angle. Because what will happen is if you go straight across, it will all fill on the one side, but not fill on the other side. It will look like it has, but there will be a big void underneath. And the groat will shrink just a tiny bit, so what you'll end up having is a big crease along here. So if you go on an angle, and you work it really hard, then you'll you'll populate that void, and you won't have any issues. Um, on a larger job, uh, a good indicator of whether or not you're getting the grout in there is if you work up a sweat. Uh, probably won't work up a sweat on this because it's a small job, but uh, if if you're doing it right, it's you're, you're putting a lot of pressure. You will you will get warm. So mixing the Throat is much like mixing the mortar. So you mix it with water. Um, this particular groat, you have to let it slake. And what that means is you mix it and you let it sit for five minutes and that, that gets all the adhesives binding together. And then you can put it on. Put it on. You mix it up. After it's slaked, you mix it up and then you can apply it. Uh, this is a small project. I'm not too worried about the slaking, but if it was a bigger project, I would certainly let it slake. So I'm not gonna need a whole lot. Now these come in little boxes. I'm gonna put just a little bit more, make sure. These come in little boxes because you only got these voids. So, you, not, you don't need near as much mortar, and I'm probably using too much here now, but I don't want to do it once. So, you mix it again to roughly to the consistency of peanut butter. Uh, you certainly don't want this money at all when you're doing a wall application. You want it to stick right where you put it. Now when you are putting this on, uh, save yourself some work as you go along clean up and by that what I mean is uh, use your grope float to pull up uh, any extra that you have in this area because you have to take a sponge and wipe it all down so the less you have there the less time it's going to take and it's really easy to move it with the grope float You want to have a smooth consistency with this. You don't want any lumps. There's a fine line between too dry and too wet. This here is too dry. And as you saw, I did 
a little bit more powder, and I have to add a little bit more water. It helps to not be in a rush when you're doing this. So the way you're going to know that it looks good is when you mix it, it'll stay smooth. When I was mixing it before, it, uh, it had dry spots or flaky spots. But now, you can see that's pretty smooth. So that's ready to go on. I'll start it, you can just take it and jam it in like that, any way you want. But once you get to the point where you're actually filling the voice, you want to go in an angle. And go in different angles. Right? Don't only go in one direction. Now these groats are mixed with different color dyes and such to get the colors. Sometimes what will happen is there will be a little pocket of color when you're groating and you might see a different color line, a red line or a blue line or something like that. Don't worry too much about it. You just keep working it. It'll uh, work itself out. So like I said about cleaning, there's a red spot right here, the line goes like that. So what I said about cleaning up, you can see that there's product there, right? So all you do is you just grab your throat float, come up and point an angle. That's how you clean it. the different size of your growth mode as well for the tighter areas. that you'll be able to tell that you're getting it filled is when you come across on an angle like that you'll have your growth will have a little bit of a bubble to it if it stays flat all the time then you probably haven't got quite enough in it to use the pressure.
important places to get lots of pressure. And what I like to do is I'll take some more, some rope, push it over, drive it in, and then start working the angles. It's in the corners. Space between the sluter strip and the tiles. Pretty small. So when you're up against something, it takes a fair bit of work to get that in there. Still trying to push it in on an angle here. Even though there's not much room, you can still work it down like that. What that does is it makes it go in, in two different angles, two different directions. So you're pushing and driving at the same time. streak right there but it's gone and it's not covered in mortar it's just gone okay so it's not a big deal and my battery's going to die So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to clean it off. So get yourself a nice big sponge, big bowl of clean water, and same idea, you go on an angle. And what's going to happen is you're going to do this, and it's going to look pure perfect. And you're going to come back in a couple hours and everything's going to have a great big haze on it. That's normal. Just do it again. Uh, you may have to go a third time, but that's not a big deal. But what you want to do is you're trying to smooth out everything. And the, uh, the growth should be just a little bit below the line of your tile. Okay, so that's it for this one. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them down at the bottom. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.